Have a seat. Nothing says tradition more than a good old fashioned barber shop. Yeah, my dad was the first barber in the family, and then I was the second. Then my brother was the third. Then my mom was the fourth. My sister and my nephew are the fifth and sixth. Hank Conley says his barber shop is a place to talk and laugh about everything. <laughs> I'm just all the way the rest off of there. But lately, there's less laughing at the barber shop as less business walks through the door. A lot of our oil field workers are getting one haircut for the three they used to get. And that's a big cut, Hank says. Well over half of his customers are in the oil field. I guess the only people that aren't oil related that come in here are probably the school teachers and the insurance salesmen. <laughs> this situation is all too familiar with Hank and his employees. I've been here 27 years and I guess I've been through five booms and busts now. So those people that you used to see every one week to 10 days, you're not seeing for three and a half to five weeks. Old school. I like that a lot. Oil field worker Martin Baldwin stopped in on his break. <laughs> he says he works at least 100 hours a week, a big change from last year. It's more work. They're very tired and they just want to just plop down and get a haircut and then they're always apologizing for how they smell and they look and with the dirt and the oil all over them. As tough as it is at Hank's Barbershop, <laughs> cutting hair is all they want to do. Meeting their families watching them grow with them. If I wasn't a barber, I'd probably be a uh, preacher. Somewhere where you get to talk a lot. So to keep the barbers working, Hank came up with a plan to help with walk-in customers. And that's the part of the business that really needs to pick up is the walk-in part of the business. Hank and his employees put the clippers down <laughs> and picked up this sign that reads barbers need work. And so far, it's been working. Noticed it a week ago where they were putting a sign out there, Barber needs work. And I said, okay, we'll put him to work. Hank is now more flexible with his schedule. He has to book many clients ahead of time. He says whatever it takes to bring back the good company. Thanks. I'll be back. That's, that's a favorite line. I'll be back. People in Odessa admire people that don't just sit back and wait for things to happen, that go after what they want. And when they see you out there in the parking lot with a sign on a hot day, then that makes them want to come trade with you. With a closer look, Jennifer Samp, CBS 7 News.